What's up guys, Kelsey here, and don't mind this giant Santa blanket right behind me. On Monday, I went on a date. Chromie's the Gabby Show, went on a bad date. When I got home from the date, the, the first thing I said, so boring. I know. It wasn't just that he was so boring, it was also kind of rude. Not from what he said, it was just like, so quiet. And the things he would ask me. Okay, so on this dating app, I'm not gonna give away the name. Let's call him Greg. I've been talking to Greg for a couple weeks now. And on this dating app, you can either have friends, hook up, or date, like a relationship. I wanted a relationship. I don't do hookups at all. I he's the first one I agreed to actually meet from an app. So then. One day he asked, like, hey, do you want to maybe meet up? And very cautious online. He would make me smile so much, make me feel so cute, and, like, clearly I'm not, but he would make me feel like it. In his picture, he had emo-ish hair in his mane, and I kind of have a thing for emo hair. I mean, for a little bit of my life, I had emo hair with there, so... The other pictures, he has dyed hair, which is totally fine. I dye my hair all the time. It's red, but you can't really see it in the lighting. Dyed his hair a little bit, so I'm like, oh, cool. He experiments with hair dye. Me. He looks kind of like a dorkable. Like, kind of, aw, kind of cute. You know what I mean? He finally asked, if you want to meet up someday? And I said, sure. And then we asked, like, oh, what's your work schedule? And I just told him we were both free on a Monday, and it was Saturday when we talked. So I said, you free on Monday at this time? He's like, yeah, for sure. I was just take a bus down there. And he said he lived about an half an hour away, but for a walk, it would be an hour walk. Keep this in mind. We were meeting at McDonald's. I know, McDonald's, right? <laughs> I twisted my ankle a few days ago, and that day it was so limited of where I could walk. So it really, really hurt, and I was limping the entire time. That will be another story time, by the way. So this McDonald's is new. It just got built. It's so modern. It's so homey in there. So I'm like, and it's public. So if you want to murder me, I'll have witnesses. I like to go a little bit early. I wanted to go a little early because I've never met him before. And I wanted to make an impression. I'm not wearing any makeup because, like, don't want to make this look worse. You know what I mean? With my makeup skills. We are meeting at 1 o'clock. I got there probably at, like, 10 minutes before 1. I had anxiety in the bathroom. I went in the door to the bathroom. And I was just shaking it out, like, all this. And then I sit at a table. So how I was sitting, a uh, table, two chairs. And a door here and a door over here. So I can kind of turn, see, and look. Just so I can have him in view so he's not searching for me. And I'm like freaking out. I'm sitting there and I'm like looking around like, oh my god. Every time someone walked by or I heard like the door open, I would like whoa, right to the door. And like not him. So I'm like, what the hell? Like, is he showing up? And I couldn't message him. She says like his phone bill wasn't being paid or something so you could text so I had a snap hopefully not on our internet one o'clock I'm waiting 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 and I'm just texting my best friend and then like my mom was just checking in on me like hey how's it going I'm like he's not here yet she goes yeah get out of there like are you kidding I'm like no maybe maybe his boss is late like I always try to see the best in people so he was late how late, you may ask? He showed up at 2.30. Tell me, what time were we supposed to meet at? Two? No, no. One o'clock! When did I show up? Ten minutes before one. <coughs> Red flag! Oh, hey. Hey there. Like, I'm... I was just plops down. He's like, Ugh. sorry, my bus was late. No problem. Um... It's nice to meet you, by the way. How he was talking was kind of hard to understand. Too monotone and kind of slurry. And then talk about what we talked about. First thing was, so this is your work, huh? Most people just ask that once, right? 
Not him. He asked it three times. <gasps> three times? Who does you work, huh? Oh, very nice. So you work here? Yes. Other topics we talked about was do you drink? What's your religion? The religion is fine, like asking people. A lot of the time, I just put my arm up and I was just kind of looking around, like, because it was so boring and so like quiet between us. Like he wouldn't say anything, I wouldn't say anything, so I would answer. That would be the end of it. Like the entire time. Probably like seven times that happened. All the answers would be about his family and friends. I probably learned nothing about him other than his religion and that he likes to drink. He likes to crash at his friend's place a lot. So there goes my arm again and I'm looking around. And my friend who works there, she's like, ooh, Kelsey, how's it going? And while I'm there, like, my mom was like, hello, Kelsey, you there? Like, answer? I'm like, oh, I'm sorry. Like, my mom was texting me one second. She's like, oh, no worries. So... I'm just texting my mom back, like, everything's fine. And then she goes, how is he? And I wanted to get out of there. Like, it was so uncomfortable. So I just texted her, called in five to ten minutes, wanting me out of there, saying that we have to go out. So I texted her that, and then no answer. I'm like, oh my god, mom. She's, like, asking all these questions and stuff. We have plans later. And he probably asked me what my plans after this date are about four times you know what it is so each time he he goes so what are your plans after this i would go i just said them going shopping with my mom after he goes no you didn't but all right you listening at all oh i left this i left this part out he was on his phone basically the entire time. Pretend this is a cell phone. He's just doing this. I said, oh, you must be getting a lot of text messages, huh? He said, oh no, I haven't paid for my bill in months, so no, I haven't gotten text messages. I want Snapchat. Oh, getting a lot of messages? And he said, no, we'll give people stories. There's it was any of my friends or my younger sister, I would say, we barely see each other, put your phone away, you're here with me. But I didn't want him to put it away a little bit because I didn't want him to keep talking to me. <laughs> so I'm like, okay. But it was getting to the point where it was really annoying. Like, put your phone away. Yes, I was on my phone, but to answer my mom, who was freaking out. That is okay. That's fine. But you're on Snapchat looking at people's stories. And I pick up my phone and then, oh sorry, it's my mom again. But it wasn't. This is where I had to put on my acting skills. Drama kid. Here we go. I said, oh, it's my mom again. I'm so sorry. Wait, I, I better reply. He goes, yeah, yeah, take your time. I'm scrolling still. like. And it was actually my best friend. He says, how is it, how is it going? And I said, don't like him, don't like him, don't like him. Call in five to ten minutes saying that you're my mom that we need to go shopping. And she goes, what do you, why? So he's so boring, I don't like him. And she said, tell him. Stop shaking. Tell him. No. He's not gonna. He wasn't gonna have that come to the rescue. So I had to put my acting skills to the test. When I got another text, it was from someone else. I pretended it was my mom saying, oh, I need to be home by three. What time was it? It was 2.55, five minutes till three. My mom said, you need to be home by three. And I said, oh no, I'm so sorry. Like my mom says I need to be home by three. Yeah, like, and he's like, oh, what time is it? I'm like, five to three, so I better leave now. I'm gonna get some food, but it was nice to meet you. And I get up and I walk over the counter. And I'm waiting, I'm like, oh my god, oh my god. And then I turn around, he's right behind me. He follows me to the line, and he's just getting closer to me, tries to hold my hand, hands here. And I I knew like he was going to, because I saw his arm kind of like, get ready kind of thing. He's closer and does this. So I go, <coughs> sorry, I'm just coming off of cold. Oh, that's fine. Cause his arms up like this. I get my food, get it all, 
And my friend is like, ooh, how's it going? Was there? And she's like, have fun. I'm like, thanks. And I turn her away. He goes to turn out this door and I go that way. So he follows me again. Yeah, I should probably go. He's like, oh yeah, uh, my, my bus doesn't come for another half hour. I'm like, oh really? He's like, yeah, I could call a cab. I said, I would call a cab. They come faster. He goes, okay. I'm like, I have to go. I'm sorry. And he goes, oh, no problem. So it was nice to meet you. It was very nice. And he leans in for a kiss. And I, oh, I really had another person here. I can like angle on like this to kiss me. And I turned my head away and I'm like, I'll give you a hug. So I hugged him, turning my head just in case he tried. So I'm like, a one arm hug too. I'm like, it was nice to meet you for a second and then I go off. He goes, see you another time, right? I'm like, uh huh. So I walk home, I'm like, oh my god. The entire time I'm like, this is gonna make a good story time. And then I kinda messed up on a little part. I posted on Snapchat. The most boring date ever. Like, talking about all this. He, I have him on Snapchat. I removed him as a friend, but he could still see my story. So he saw it. Like, yeah, he knows I don't want to meet him again. So I'm like, sorry. And then he keeps visiting my profile on the app. Like, it tells you if they look, if they see your profile or something. He kept looking at it, it would tell me, oh, Greg looked at profile and all this. I'm like, I know he wants the message, but he's not gonna. 